Okay, right, so this is just a little update. Now, I did do like over two hours of this and I was editing it through and I just thought, oh, you know, I'm just going to reset it back up again. I'm going to show you them in just a few minutes. So what I've done was the, the bit where we were having the sucking up the, the current, I, it was the pot. I thought I got it turned all the way to least resistance, but I got on the... Uh, sorry, um, I thought I got at maximum resistance, but it's on least resistance. So, giving that a little bit of a tweak, it's quite difficult to tune this pot because it's a single turn or partial turn pot, and um, really you need a multi turn pot. So, getting that sorted out, we sorted out the, the current thing. So, now if I just show you quickly, it's already at around about 240 volts. The current goes up, look, uh, it's just under. 40 milliamps and just over 40 milliamps there uh, for some reason. Oh, yeah, it is. It's the needle there, it's right on 50 volts, and so that's not a problem. Let me just disconnect that for a second, so that's not a problem. Uh, we don't have excessive heating, there's no heating on the, on the resistors anymore, so that's good. That's good. So that's that part sorted. It just needs to be a bit better fine tuned. Honestly, five minutes ago, before I went to make another coffee. Um, that was set around about 60 milliamps, so there is a little bit of a variation there, even just coming back a few minutes later. It needs to be a multi turn pot, as per uh, the instructions on the website for this circuit. The problem that we've got now, or the problem that I have now, is if I put this to this meter, which is the output, I've got this connected here. So this is on the output, which would go to my speaker. Now if I put down again, same voltage, same everything, look at that look. That's not good. That's not good. And you try connecting the speaker to that, it looks like you're just trying to turn it into a heating element because you use loads of um, current, but only from the right channel. Okay, I'm not going to connect to the speaker or a dummy load or anything like this. Anytime you just have to take my word for it, it happens from the right channel here is where the problem is. Or not where the problem is, but that's the one that starts gobbling up the current. Mm, not quite sure why that is. Um, I know I I I have got absolutely no idea. So it is a case of you know I'm I'm sort of like I'm asking. Uh, if there's if there's any information, uh, if anybody knows why that might be. Because there certainly shouldn't be that type of uh, one one volt. I think it said for the output. I should be looking for. So not quite sure, but it's nice to know that the the the, see, the problem that I had as well was with the circuit. Right, hold on. Yeah, so with the circuit, you see this bit here. You see this bit. I was getting confused when it came to that the pot. Is because connecting here the, the the base to the wiper. Yeah, I fully understand that. But then having this other connection from the base to the, the you know between this one k and the two k part that didn't make any sense. I did try it and it, it wasn't very happy. But when I first tried it, I did have the the, the power cable was the wrong way round. Easy mistake. Um, but then when I corrected that um, and then tried it again, it still wasn't happy at all having that having that bridge because I actually made the connection on the circuit for that. <laughs> And it wasn't very happy with that at all. So taking that off, that seems like it works as it should do. So this bit here, why oh why oh why, if it's not there just to confuse, I really don't know why. It could be so easy to take that out. Um, but who knows, who knows why they do that. Uh, so yeah, so that's what I've got with it. So the high output going there, which is near enough half the rail voltage. Uh, that shouldn't be there. Let me just check actually what I actually have on the rail at that voltage. Because I know that was that was one of the things it was it was said to check. So let me just just check that. Okay, let's just check this quick then. So we're up to 50 volts on input. I'm just going to go to the middle connection on the output and we've got 24.7 that side. On the on that be on the negative side and then twenty three point seven the other side and we still only got forty five forty five milliamp quiescent current 
Yeah, so the high output, the, the high voltage on the output, that's not good at all. It should be around about one volt or slightly under. Um, any ideas would be great. I got no idea uh, why that is. All I can do is just keep going over that circuit, but um, yeah, they don't know. So I'm gonna have to be scratching my head and hopefully somebody give me a bit of feedback and um, I might be able to push a bit further forward with this. Okay, right, see you in the next one.